Happy Thumbs Gaming. Week show. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Free Play Level 8, The Dead Marshes for LEGO Lord of the Rings. So, this is pretty standard requirements here. We are going to say that you need the uh, something to pull an orange handle with. So, either the Mithril Boxing Gloves, Shagrot, or Uruk I. Uruk I, however you say that. I know you guys are getting real disappointed with my mispronunciations. You're also going to need uh, something to blow up silver Mithril objects. So, either Berserker or the Mithril Fireworks. And right off the bat, we're actually going to start and turn around and build the little uh, landing pad here so we can fish off the side with Golem. And we'll go ahead and get three perfect fishings, which we still haven't got that trophy yet. I don't know how many times we got to fish before we're going to get that, but I, we've had at least 20. And then with the fish you grab, you're going to want to come over a little bit further on the island and toss it at the sign out there. And which then allows you a little path to go pick up a mini kit. Ah, yeah. So then we'll switch on over to Gimli, smash a few things, and start with one of five crack rocks. <laughs> cracked rocks, that is, out there on the marshes. So we'll be pointing all five of those out to you along the way. That was one of five. So after you follow along here, this is where you get the first of the golem farts. We'll go ahead and get our trusty pail out. This is normally where you get the pail as you dig it up there. So it's one of the treasure items. But if you've played the story mode, you've already grabbed that. You have to in order to pass the level. So we'll pull it out from our inventory since we didn't just grab it right now. And we'll fill our pail and we'll dump the water. Before leaving, though, you're going to want to make sure that you slam down with Gimli and get two of five over there on the left side of the first pool. All right, watch out for them Smeagol squirts. And uh, we're kind of advancing along here with the story. Uh, if you need any help with the story, make sure you check out our story walkthrough as opposed to our free play video. Now, uh, right over here on this next island, there's going to be kind of on the foreground closest to the screen, there's one little lily pad that, as you can see, as you walk slowly, it acts actually uh, creates more for you. So you're going to slowly follow that out there and go ahead and grab the mini kit. We already got it in our story mode, so we got the stud instead. And then you can see we got three of five bricks cracked with Gimli right there, too. And you can see there's another uh, rock slab out there that we need to do the old power thrust with our angry dwarf. But we'll have to wait until we get over here. And we'll go ahead and smash that now. So now we got four or five, one more, and we'll go ahead and collect that mini kit. As you can tell, we're speeding things up in between the non-essential points so that we don't waste your time and... Uh, we kind of assume you've already watched this, and if you haven't watched our original playthrough, you've at least played through yourself, so. Yeah, buddy. All right, so now on this next island over here where you use Sam's rope to pull down the tree, we're going to get out there with Gimli and get our mini kit for doing the power slam. The old power sit up out there on the, uh, the last crack rock. We will choose to pull out the mithril boxing gloves, and we were going to get rowdy with this, uh, this Gata. The gator didn't want none, though, so he ran off with his little babies, like a little baby. And then we'll go ahead and switch to an elf, because our hops with the hobbit is ironically not what it could be. So, look at that. The, the elf just jumps right over. And then we will speed things up again real quick. Get out to this pool, toss some water on that Schmeagle squirt. And right over here, we're going to switch to Aragorn, Aragorn, however you say it. <laughs> and uh, we'll pull out his uh, trusty Sword of Fury and smack this Morgul Brick down to nothing. Which then presents us with a ghost, a boat, and two purple items. So we know that we can stack purple items, so we'll go ahead and f go grab those real quick. We do speed it up just a little bit. Not insanely, though, because we want you to be able to see where you're going. We're assuming that uh, this is scripted, that the items will always go to the same spots. Maybe not. You just make your way back after putting them together, hand it on over. And after the boat does some brodies out there, <laughs> kicks on over that mini kit. All right. So now we have to uh, pull down the water. We fill our bucket up again, put out those flames and, all right any day now we'll switch to the right one 
Yeah, buddy. Raining down on that pond. All right, so we're full. We're going to go put out the fire. Once we're done here, we're going to watch a quick cut scene. Look how pissed he is. It's my teddy. My teddy walk spin. Probably smells like golem farts. Uh-oh. The Black Rider. All right, so I got really uh, caught up over here on this left side uh, where you can shoot the bow over there. I, I don't even think I'd do it in this video. I, I spent some time on it, and I went back and kind of cleaned it up. If you look real carefully, you can see a bad edit right there. But regardless, um, there are a couple studs out on that small island. If you ask me, they're not worth getting unless you've got superb jumping skills because I died six or seven times, lost a few purple or blue studs, rather. And uh, ended up uh, probably breaking even overall. So after uh, you get to like the third island with the Black Rider chasing you, you can go ahead and switch to Legolas or pull out a bow, whichever you prefer. And it'll drop another treasure trove item, the fancy umbrella. You didn't get fancy. And then here we'll sneak in and hide in the cave again. I'm a silly Sally and didn't switch on over to my Insta Bush. But I guess I didn't need to. I just needed to hide a little better in there. And we were just double checking we didn't miss anything back there. It turns out what we were looking for was right here. So we're going to switch to Legolas again, if you switch away from him, that is. Shoot that large tree, which will fall over, revealing a mini kit. Look at that. We're stacking them up, folks. We is stacking them up. All right, so... Uh, in this part, you're going to hang with Sam's rope and get some momentum and jump across because the jump action is disabled right here in this little area for the most part, unless you're in the swamp. And so we'll use that, and then we're going to go ahead and use Legolas one more time to shoot another target back on the tree, which kind of kicks up these three little buoys. And, uh, you know, look, my aim no so good, and you can laugh all you want. But I would bet that some of you are having just as much trouble as I am. I finally get fed up and go over to the left shore here in a second. Yep. There you go. Tumbalaya. Another mini kit added to our collection. I got to say, I was surprised when I actually looked at my mini kit total after beating this level. It's like, hmm, we're getting up there. We're over the halfway point even. So, again, we'll speed things up. And we'll keep following that Schmiegeldorf. And as you may have guessed, Mithril Fireworks or Berserker, in our case it's Berserker here, we'll go ahead and pick up the last treasure trove item for this mission, or this level, area, whichever you prefer to call it. Story, chapter, you know, whatever. Then we're going to go ahead and clear the debris here, switch to our Mithril Boxing Gloves, or Shagrat or Urukai also works. And we'll just work our way down through the backside. And you can see that mini kit on your first playthrough, but you could not access it. So hopefully we made that easy for you. And then we'll continue to use Sam and his awesomeness to grow this purple flower. But before we leave, we're going to also pull out the fishing rod. And we'll do some fishing over here. Again, some more perfect fishing scenarios here. Now, except for this time, we didn't get our uh, wide mouth bass. <laughs> we left her at the bar. We'll go ahead and pick up the blacksmith design here. And cut up top to yet another cutscene, which will actually last longer than we prefer. No, I'm just kidding. And what? why is like the front and back of Gollum covered, but the underside is not? I wasn't trying to check out his undercarriage. And look at these dudes ordering like sliced lemon pizzas. It's fairly creative. I'm not sure why they didn't just use pizzas, right? And... Da -da -da, ding dong! It's pretty funny when they ring the doorbell, eh? Pizza, pizza. Alright. So, we've got a couple more things we need to handle before we get through here. One is going to be with Legolas. We're going to go ahead and switch to him right off the bat, as you'll see. And we're going to target... Uh, there's a total of five targets scattered throughout the uh, kind of the backgrounds. However, one is right in the middle in the back, and then there's actually two on each side. So I actually should have started on the right, and I apologize because I didn't, but I immediately saw this first one and just went for it. And then I kind of come around. 
These giant elephants blocking my view. I wasn't sure what I was shooting at, but those are clearly bad guy archers shooting at me. And then you can see, I mean, they're pretty obvious. All you have to do is kind of wander around a little bit, and you'll see these targets moving. The hardest part's going to be hitting them because they're moving, and you're being attacked at, like, random here by these uh, soldiers running about. So, as I fail miserably here as well, hopefully you guys will get a good chuckle. Right where I just was, I ran over a digging pile that we'll dig with Sam here in a minute and actually get the last mini kit that uh, we can obtain for this mission. All right, so it was a funny angle right there. Like I said, uh, my aim not so good. It's all about timing. Booyah kashaw, nine to 10, we are making it happen. All right, so now I switched on over to Sam because I knew I had to do some digging. I ran right over that pile a second ago and there it is again. So I wreck some shop on those readies. Go ahead and dig up that mini kit. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're going to turn into turbo mode real quick. And uh, for all those hunting hunters, you can go ahead and switch on to the next video now. There's not a whole lot left. We will do the total screen, as always, and say our farewells and our see -yas. But uh, all in all, we're just going to bounce around like it's 1999. That didn't even make sense. I don't even know what I'm saying sometimes. At least I'm aware of it, though. Too many people often just blab and aren't aware of it. I at least acknowledge and admit to my uh, my idiocracy. All right. Booyah. Look at that money. Sad to see it go. We actually just spent a bunch of it uh, on our current game. It's, we're a little behind in these videos as far as where we are, as usual. And... Uh, but I got my first red brick, which is going to allow me some multipliers on the studs. So shouldn't have any more problems getting uh, any of the true adventurer statuses any longer. I know I already got made fun of because I didn't quite make one of them. But All right, there you go. Proof is in the pudding, people. 10 of 10, check mark, and 3 of 3. Can't really get much better than that, right? That will go ahead and wrap up Lego Lord of the Rings Level 8, The Dead Marshes Free Play. Free, free play. Again, that's my remix of the free play. So, yeah, love it or hate it. It is what it is. Uh, we got all 10 mini kids. Got the blacksmith design, which we'll put to use here soon. Feel free to comment, vote, subscribe if you like what we're doing. Head on over to Facebook and Twitter, as always. Until next time. So